Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Maureen and I make lifestyle content while living on Sanibel Island. As you can tell by the title of this video, today is my Memorial Weekend vlog. So it is now Saturday and we've decided to do something a little different for us. We're down in Naples at Vanderbilt Beach. We've heard a lot of things, but we've never actually visited here since we've lived here for over five years now. And we're gonna go to the Turtle Club restaurant, which I think recently reopened after Ian. I'm not 100% sure, so I'll get that information for you guys. But I've heard really good things, so now we're gonna try and get some parking and we're gonna have some fun there. So I'll check in with you guys soon and show you the gorgeous views because it is a waterfront here on the beach. you guys so lunch was delicious over at turtle club definitely will be back in the future so if you're ever in the naples area and you're wanting to do some waterfront dining and that is the place to go on vanderbilt beach so once again it's called the turtle club so now we're actually going to head to waterside which is one of my favorite malls in southwest florida it's an outdoor mall with a lot of luxury shopping so i'm gonna go and stop in at tori because i still have like a gift card related to my birthday so i'm going to go in there and check that out and see if there's anything i like and then peruse some of the other stores which of course i'll take you along for Molly says hi, she's smiling, she's ready for dinner. So we're gonna have a little early dinner. Murphy's smiling too. Oh, they're so happy. So they're gonna have dinner, they've already been walked, and then we'll have an early dinner, but I'll talk about that later. Okay, you guys, it's a little while later. Put my hair back up in a braid, like I was saying, to walk the dogs. Now they're eating, but I thought I would show you what came from Amazon. Some kind of like must-haves for me that arrived. So the first is this Redken Argan Oil. So I naturally have wavy hair. And so while I do wear my hair like blow dried straight a lot of the times, I'm kind of wanting to embrace the wave. This is kind of like summer. So I know when, for at least for me, when I've done this, like you scrunch the crunch out. So with a gel cast when you're doing your waves and I use like an argan oil and I didn't have any, I realized I had lost my other argan oils that I had in Hurricane Ian. So I got the Redken All Soft version. I really love Redken products. So I thought this would be a good one to have once again to scrunch that crunch out and you can use it for other things not just for that just regular when you put it in your hair after your shower air dry whatever you'd like this is really good then i got some must-haves for me i'm always kind of walking around the house and fuzzy socks i love them so i got two more pairs from barefoot dreams they're my favorite brand of fuzzy socks so i have two so i thought i'd add a couple more pairs just to kind of have rotation in between washes things like that so i got these i got the gray and then like the gram gray little cheetah print thought those were super cute and then i got from the ordinary brand i use a serum and i go through it rather quickly because i wear it every day under whether it's under my makeup it's always in my skincare routine with or without makeup i use this niacinamide 10 percent and zinc one percent and i it's like a, a mineral blemish formula so it doesn't interact with any of the other like chemicals that i use on my face from like active ingredients from different brand products that i have from my dermatologist so that's really good so I like to use that all over my face every day. And then I picked up some more Goodles mac and cheese. I know I've talked about it in another couple of vlogs, but I like those. I used to love mac and cheese. Like I said in my last like, vlog about this, I loved mac and cheese growing up, but I know with food allergies, it's kind of hard to do that. But this is a vegan and gluten-free version. So I'll open this up and show you what the packaging looks like. I just buy like a six pack of these at a time and I usually get them, like I said, off Amazon. 
So it's the Goodles brand. It's the Vegan Be Heroes Gluten Free. So it's plant based cheddar, the gluten free Mac. So they offer like gluten free versions. They offer some that are be just vegan but not gluten free. So good to read up on those to figure out what exactly you might like and what might be needed for your allergens. So that is what I got. And then yesterday, what finally came was these larger ones that I'm gonna use for my overnight oats. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way, of course, but just gives me a little bit more room, especially if I'm gonna shake things up, if I'm doing a chia seed pudding, which I'll talk about in the future. Got these, so I'm excited about that. And then a little bit later, I will do a haul of the items that I got at Waterside, a little pleasant surprise from two of my favorite stores. So I'm very excited about that, and I'll show you guys later. All right, you guys, so got done in the house. I'll probably film either the haul either later this evening or maybe tomorrow. But now we are kind of driving around the island before heading to Cello for dinner. So Cello is one of the nicer restaurants on Sanibel that we like to frequent. It's really good food. And then tonight is they have a pianist that plays every night and it's his last night because he's retiring. So we're going to go hear him. So it should be a nice little evening. Hi you guys, so like I said earlier, I would show you my items that I got today while at Waterside and the little luxury items that I bought. So it's a little while later, the sun's starting to set, so we gotta get this done quickly. Had a great dinner tonight, but now let's get into the items. So the first store that I actually went into was Gucci. So I have been looking for, if you've kind of been following my saga since my birthday, I've been looking for some different luxury slides and sandals and small heels that I can wear that are gonna last for a long time, just timeless pieces. If you know that story from my birthday vlog, you would know in my haul that I went to a bunch of different stores in Palm Beach and they did not have my size, which is very uncommon. Usually there's plenty within my size. So decided to go into the Gucci here in Naples. So it did very well. I have another bag as well. And I'll show you the items that I got. So this is the packaging of the first item that I got. So I've been looking for some different summery, like white sandals and just kind of been looking at that. And while I was looking for another pair and I couldn't get my size, I eyed this pair. So let me show you. So this is the traditional colors that they've had it in the past like couple of years. This Gucci used to be like black and white, then it went to green. So let me show you the shoes I got. Packaged all nice and pretty. And they had my size in there, so that was awesome. But this is the shoe, so it's kind of an espadrille. It's more of like an off-white color, but I just thought they were super casual, but really nice that I could pair both dressing up and dressing down. And you can see the Gucci symbol in there. And I just thought I have so much I can wear this with. Even I could have worn it with what I'm wearing today. Thought it was stunning. And so I love this material and I love this type of shoe. It's a little bit of like a platform, but it's not too clunky. And I have more of a narrow foot, so this was still able to fit me well and was not too big or small. So very excited about these. So that's what I went in for. And then when I was at the checkout, I saw the other items that I'm about to show you guys. So the next item is a beautiful purse from Gucci. Like I said, I saw this at checkout and I thought it would go beautifully with the shoes and just a beautiful summer bag and it's very unique. It was also the last one available in the store. So I just felt like it was meant to be. The bag comes in here. So this is what it looks like. It says Gucci on it. It's this really cute like bucket bag. I saw plenty of other bags with this kind of like material in there different colors, but I just thought this was stunning. Still very neutral. I can use this for a lot of different things. And then it has the opportunity to like open and close it here. So it pro provides a little bit more security and privacy. And then here it has the detailing here that you can adjust it to make it longer or shorter, which I thought was really great. And it does fit a lot in here. I was making sure like all of my items that I normally put in my purses fit in there because I usually like a larger purse. So it is a very deep bag as well. And it has the little footings too. I just thought it was a stunning bag. I can't wait to style this with all the other items that I have for this summer. And then once again, while I was checking out, I have always been a really big fan of their perfumes. I have been wearing Flora by Gucci back before they rebranded and resigned and redid their scents and things like that since I was in high school. I love Flora by Gucci. So they came out with a newer scent. So they've had the gardenia and the jasmine one and so once again gorgeous packaging 
and this is the gorgeous magnolia so it's beautiful i love the scent i love a flowery perfume i think it's amazing i loved it it's a beautiful purple bottle as well on the inside so as you can see i did a very long gucci once again was not going in with like any ideas of actually like purchasing but once i saw those items knew i had to get them very excited for it this summer and all the styling that comes with it the next item i am so excited about so i went into hermes so i've never bought anything in there before and i've definitely been wanting to Within the past year, Hermes has opened in Naples, so it was my first time actually going in, and I've been eyeing their shoes for quite some time now, and they had my size. So let me show you guys the beautiful bag. I'm so excited for this. Like I said, I got a pair of shoes, so when I open this, this is the Oasis shoe. I'll show you what it looks like, but here we go. So once again, just like in the Gucci, they each come in their own little dust bag. So I thought I would show you guys that. And then, like I've said in previous videos, I've been looking for more white shoes because I have some off-white things like that. But just having some more versatility because I wear so much like white down in Florida and you wear them all season, all year rather, as opposed to just a season like between Memorial Day, Labor Day, we wear it all the time. But it's this beautiful little heel. It was extremely comfortable on and I sized down for my typical size. This is a five and a half. So that's what it looks like. The Oasis, it's beautiful and white. Very excited to wear these. So you probably heard my dogs in the last clip. They're very excited they know I'm in here. So I'm gonna end off this portion of the vlog here and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. But just thought I would show you guys these finds. Very pleasantly surprised and so excited to get a lot of goodies out of these. Hello you guys, it is now Memorial Day. So we're gonna be celebrating that today. Got the dogs taken care of. They've just had their breakfast. Now I'm gonna get ready to go on a walk before using my pool for the first time since I moved in. I moved in over five months ago, almost six months ago, I want to say, somewhere around there. Anyways, super excited about that. So if you're not familiar with Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S., Memorial Day is the day that is a national holiday where we honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. So that is what today revolves around and we typically get the day off. So I'll check in with you guys later. And thank you to all who have served and to those who have family members who have served as well. Okay guys, it's a while later. I had some fun at the house and swimming with the dogs and all that fun stuff. But now it's a little later in the afternoon and decided that was enough sun for today since I really haven't been in the sun over the past few months, which is crazy living in Florida. But anyways, now heading to Over Easy Cafe for a little brunch. Okay guys, it is a little while later on this Memorial Day. So now after having dinner, we're gonna go ahead over and get an acai bowl on the east end of Sanibel over at the Magic Butts. So I'll show you guys that and then probably end off this vlog.